and welcome to this week's vlog, the week that I started secondary school. We've posted two videos this week on the channel, which are both match highlights where I go through and analyse my performance. I hope you like these style of videos and that it gives you tips with your game. If you haven't already watched these, then go and check them out by clicking the link up here. Luca, do you reckon we're going to win? Henry's waiting for his new goalkeeper top to come for the team. So yeah. we've got Nike Das on today. Adidas shorts, Nike top, Adidas top, and Nike boots. <laughs> because I was busy, wasn't like I had nothing to do, but then we also ended up winning the game, which I was really, really pleased about. Today and tomorrow, I'm doing these SAT test books, um, and then on Wednesday, I start secondary school. Right now, we're about to go through everything um, about my secondary school, so a load of like um, notes and emails and stuff that we've got. Things are gonna be a little bit different because of COVID restrictions. In my new school, I have to have a mouth guard for playing rugby. We just got this one, and basically what you have to do is you have to put it in boiling water. It has to go in for a minute. Then you have to go and cool it under the tap, and then put it in my mouth, and basically press all around, and basically fit it to my teeth, and then take it out and leave it to set in some ice cold water, and then job done. Once this is cooled for 30 seconds, I need to drop this in. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe. I've just finished packing my school sports bag, my main bag. Up here, we've got the wardrobe. So I've got my shirts, jumpers, blazer, trousers, I've got some skins as well if it's cold and I'm doing some sports. I've got a rugby top and rugby shorts. And then the reason that I showed that I have new boots on Instagram is for rugby, the black and red ones because that goes with um, what I'll be wearing. And then I have a cricket top, I have an athletics top and shorts and then also an art shirt. my sat books for the last time for a little while now because tomorrow I'm going back to school and once again I got 8 out of 8 so for the whole set I got 47 out of 48. Today is the last time for a while that I'm going to be doing my spinning and also my band um, ankle strengthening exercises because I'm going back to school tomorrow as I said earlier and I'm going to be doing lots of sport, so I won't really need to be doing these. I have absolutely no pain in my ankle anymore, but the reason I'm still doing these is so that I can strengthen it so it won't happen again. Right now, I'm just on my way in the car to my fourth friendly match with my new team. Um, we've got Luca coming as well, and we are playing against a local academy team, so it's going to be a tough game but hopefully we'll be able to win in the end. After this, we have two more friendly games before the first game of the season. In our game last night, we ended up losing 5-2, unfortunately, but it was really close game at the start, and there will be a match highlights video coming out on that. I'm now on my way to school for my first day at secondary school. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm also a bit nervous, but it's gonna be so good. Hopefully I can meet um, some new friends on the first day. I have to drive about five minutes down to the bus stop, and then I have a 40 minute bus journey to the school. really good first day at school. I got my timetable so I know what lessons I've now got and I also got a PE folder 
In here it explains everything we're going to be doing in PE. It says that we're going to be doing lots of fitness tests and ball control tests, stuff like that. And also a load of fixtures for the school teams. This is one of the main reasons why I chose this school, is because it's so big on sports. Today at school, one of our lessons was meant to be music. So we went to the room and there was a full class in there that were in the middle of a lesson. Okay, that's weird. So we just went back to the classroom, which was our main one, and no teacher was in there. So we were in there by, our, by ourselves with no teacher. Then a lot of us went down um, to the office where the head of year seven was meant to be. But it turns out the head teacher was in there instead. And he said, you shouldn't be doing music. You should be doing art right now. We were like, wait, what? Because everyone's timetable said music and not art. So the head teacher then went to get the teacher we were actually meant to be having and she was in the middle of her lunch break she had to quickly eat her lunch come over to our classroom and then we started doing art but then because we were meant to be doing music none of us had any of our art supplies because we didn't pack them because we were like oh we don't need to we're not going to be doing art today so we had like none of our supplies that we needed for art and it was just a mess Today I also got my first bit of homework which is art homework. I need to basically be in the garden and I need to make a sketch without taking my pencil off. So one continuous line. I have to like sketch some like plants, uh, like maybe like a tree there as well. And it can't be from what you know, it has to be from what you can see. And you have to do the background as well. And I have to spend, they said, the teacher said maybe about an hour on it. Um, so I have to make sure that it's really good. good. Morning guys. Good news today. My bubble has gone. It's, it's been two and a half weeks since I had the operation. The bubble's got smaller and smaller. And when I woke up this morning, it's disappeared. So no more bubble flying about in my eye when I brush my teeth. And I can see fully a little bit misty in that right eye, but about 95% back to what it used to be. So now I don't have to wear this silly fluorescent band so I haven't got a gas bubble in my eye anymore. So Henry, do the official cutting. ta -da! I'm free. So I'll go back to the hospital in just over a week to have it checked and then hopefully we can start playing golf, football, and having fights. Me and Luca, once again, are on our way to our fifth friendly match for our new team. We have two more to go after this, and then it's the start of the season. Really looking forward to it. Hopefully we can win. The match was very good, it was competitive as well, it was a close game. Luca played really well, um, you should be really proud of your performance. I felt like I played alright as well, um, I felt like my communication was a lot better um, and yeah, I really enjoyed playing as well. This afternoon I've had a Callier delivery of three new colours of the Powerlite Accelerate Hair Gloves and they're all in three different cuts. I'll be doing a video review on these shortly. Don't forget the outtakes coming up in a second. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Bye! Today, Today we have our third pre-season friendly match. I just put it in boiling water for how long was it? My ankle has basically lit it sorry, let me start again. We've posted two videos this week on the channel which are both match 